Okay, y'all, back again. This is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen, and today I'll be making y'all some fried apple. And when you use doing fried apple, you can use any kind of red delicious, any kind of apple, but the best and the most expert says the Granny Smith apple is better and because it has that tart and it won't be so sweet as the other when you make an apple turnover or apple, uh, apple fried apple. What I'll be using, I'll be using some pure honey. Pure honey. I'll be using a little lemon. And I'll be using a ground a cinnamon. It's a nutmeg. Vanilla flavor. Uh, pure vanilla, not flavor, I'm sorry, extract. I always use a pure vanilla extract. And I got butter, a little butter, and some sugar. And these are things I'll be using for the uh, fried apple. What I'm doing is the first thing I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna take and peel the apple. I peel my apple, then I take them. You don't have to peel your apples, you really don't. Because, but when you're making, uh, it's, uh, you can peel them if you want to, if you don't, you don't. Uh, when you peel them, they cook quicker. You don't have to worry about, you know, they cook, they cook because they apples, and you don't have to cook fruit that long. But when you leave the skin on them, it's kind of hard to cook. All I do is take and peel them good, and then I take this knife, and I, instead of coring them, it's hard, I just take them and cut them in two. And then I take and take this out. This is easy for me now. Take that out. I didn't mean to cut that much off, and just take it out. And then what I do is I take them, and I slice them. See how you want just like a slice them, just like that. Do all in the same way, don't have them so big. And I don't get near the core, I just take and cut it off, slice them a little bit. If they're too big, I turn around and uh, cut them in two again. So these are kind of big, so I'm gonna take and cut them. But this is the way you want them shaped. It's easy for me to do them like this. Some people have the, the apple core and they do them. But I just do mine like this and peel all of them. Do the other one the same way. Peel them. Take this little core out. Like I said, you can leave the uh, peel on. It's up to you. Uh -oh. Okay, now I'm going to peel all these off camera. I'm going to get back with you when I get through peeling them. Okay, I measured out everything I needed, and I'll give it to you as I put it in the skillet. The first thing you're going to do when you're cooking uh, fried apples, the easiest way I, 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 I know how, is that first thing I do is I take and melt my butter in the skillet. I let that melt. All my ingredients, I'm going to put the, the apples going to be the last thing to go in there. I'm going to melt my butter. Let's melt it. I'm going to put, uh, this is some nut, this is some cinnamon. This is a, a tablespoon of cinnamon right there and here's some um, nutmeg I put a little bit more nutmeg this is about a tablespoon this is a, 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 a full tablespoon of uh, nutmeg and I'm gonna put some uh, sugar we put about a, three of these uh, scoops of sugar because that's gonna you know it's gonna sweeten it up and let that melt and I'm gonna put this is a uh, it's a uh, uh, flavor extract, vanilla extract. This is very important to make it taste good. This is a half a cup of that. And here's a, about a half a cup of honey. And then I'm gonna let all this melt. Let it get hot. And, I'm gonna, and this is a little, just a little tap of lemon juice just to give it a good taste. Just a little bit, that's all I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna stir this up and let this get kinda, you know, glazed. And that's all to do. Once this gets hot, you say, "Look, you're gonna, you can taste it and make sure it tastes like you want it to taste, like your desire, your sweetness." This is a very simple recipe. Just let it cook and get warm. And once it gets hot, you're gonna put your apples in there. Once everything melts, your butter melt, then you put your apples. I chose, I put all mine in, you know, at one time, all my ingredients. Then I put the apple. Once it get kind of hot, and then I cover it. Once it's melted, I'm gonna season this. I'm gonna see if it's like I want it to taste I like, cause I like a kind of sweet taste and I'm gonna taste it. But I'm gonna let this melt. Uh, see all my ingredients I put in there, they uh, melted. And the next thing you're gonna do, 
is just put your apples in there. I taste them and taste it again. I taste it and it was exactly. Please use those measurements for me. And I had about 10 apples, about 10 apples. And mm, it's good. So I'm getting ready to put my apples in here now. Like I said, this is the end. It tastes like I wanted to taste. And not to add any more. And this only juice you're gonna, only liquid you're gonna use is from what you use with the butter and stuff. Put these up and then that's easy. Once they get soft, that's the end of that. And if I got some left, I'm gonna make some apple. That's gonna be another video. I'm gonna make some apple um, turnover for the kids. And the kids can help you do that. That's simple. So I'm gonna let this start cooking. And once it start cooking, I'm gonna get back with you. I'm gonna turn it over in the skillet. Like I said, this was 10 apples. And use those ingredients I told you. I measured them out for you. And it's simple. All it's got to do is cook the milk and get soft, not milk and stuff. And that's all the juice you need. If you need a little bit more, you can cheat by adding just a tap of water if that's not enough liquid. But I always have enough, and this will be enough because the apples have a little water in too. They're going to make a little water, a juice with the apple juice. Okay, now I got these turned. I'm going to let them cook a little bit, and I'm going to turn them again. Okay, you all, you've seen how they soften up. And I make sure you cover them too. I forgot to mention that. Put a top on, let them cook a little bit, and they're gonna, the stuff you put in there, like all the ingredients the sugar, the uh, lemon, the uh, vanilla flavor, extract, I'm sorry, vanilla extract, and the cinnamon and nutmeg, all of this gonna uh, cook in here and you're gonna season. That's all the juice you, you don't need in the butter. You don't need no more water. That's all you need. Cause the apple gonna cook, it's gonna melt. But once it's brown enough, so they're cooking, they're gonna get soft. And you can cover them till they get soft. Then let them brown a little bit. I'm gonna cover them up, I'm gonna get back with you. Here's the finishing touch of my fried apple. I hope you enjoyed the video. I, I had some left, and like I said, I'm gonna make a, uh, some apple turnovers for the kids, so kids can uh, to help the parent make the apple turnover, because it's not, you just put them in the oven. But anyway, I'm glad you, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, don't, don't forget to hit that notification bell, and subscribe, show it to your families and friends, and thank you all for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen.